Tim Harrison. I'm the managing director of Ionic Rare Earths. Uh, proud to be here at our future site of the commercial plant in Belfast. And what are we looking at here? I'm, well, I know what that is. Harland and Wolf, builders of the Titanic. Yeah, and a lot of other ships over the journey as well. Including that one. That's right. Including that one. So they're refurbishing that one there. Yeah. But uh, yeah, this is the old Harland and Wolf shipyards, um, or a part thereof, uh, here on Queen's Island uh, in Belfast. Right. Um, this is a 12-acre site, which we're working on the um, commercial... Uh, plant feasibility study yeah and we're working through the approvals and permitting uh, for this site to uh, to be the home of our first recycling plant here in Belfast so 12 acres big ambitions yeah there's a big opportunity here what are you going to do what are you, what's the plan well so we're working on the feasibility study for a magnet recycling plant that can recycle 1200 tons per annum of magnets right. to produce 400 tons of separated magnet rare earth oxides and so we've been working on that feasibility study now. We're getting very close. We're working through the permitting and approvals with our local stakeholders here being the Belfast Harbour, Titanic Quarter Limited and local Northern Ireland regulators. Yeah. Um, and so far, so good. We, we've got uh, an indication that we've got a lot of support um, on fast-tracking the, the approvals process for the commercial plant here. Right, and um, I've been around the facility, um, you know, and looked, looked at what you've built already uh, at your current uh, plant. Um, in terms of how that fits into this ecosystem around you, I mean, just up the road, they're making uh, wind turbines. Yeah. I imagine that's going to be, uh, they're going to look at you in quite an interesting way. Yeah, look, I mean, there's a number of businesses here, and there really yeah. is the establishment of a, of a wind energy hub. Right. Right. We've got a, a motivated government stakeholders here that are coming together, supporting businesses to develop capability here with the fantastic infrastructure available to us in Belfast, here at the harbour. So, uh, you know, we have a unique opportunity. Uh, um, sometimes you can be smart in life and lucky. I think we're a mix of both. I think we've created an environment, policy is certainly supporting um, what we want to do here in, in Belfast. Mm -hmm with the Windsor framework and what we're seeing, certainly within a supportive UK government and a framework that's being established in Europe to accelerate magnet recycling. Okay, but talk, talk about supportive how? Because, you know, I think money's got to come into it or some some way of encouraging you on the with the bottom line. What are they doing to help you? Yeah, look, I mean, we've had a number of meetings with government um, and various branches of government uh, within the UK and Northern Ireland. Mm. They've outlined the, the various pots of funding um, and government departments who are fully supportive of what we're doing here in Northern Ireland, what we're doing around circular economy, secure traceable magnet rare earths for automated uh, advanced manufacturing and net zero technology here in the UK. Mm -hmm. So we anticipate, and the, 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 the signalling that we've had from uh, stakeholders in the UK government is there are a number of things and facilities that are going to be made available to uh, to Ionic Technologies and Ionic Rare Earths in commercialising this first plant here in Belfast. Right, so their, their preference is that you do, I mean, this is the site behind us actually, 12 acres right behind yeah. you. Um, their preference is that you stay working with them here in, in Belfast. Very well. much so. They, uh, they've supported us all the way through the journey since we acquired the business uh, in 2022. They want to see the business commercialised here in the UK and, and I think we've created a, a great basis to commercialise it right here in Belfast mm -hmm. where the IP was was generated um, and we've got a talent pipeline that can support you know a lot of um, you know new initiatives in this Northern Ireland you know enhanced investment zone which right. is being set up as well. Which doesn't kind of discount you for, with your business model in terms of that licensing um, option Malte, that you've got in taking it into Europe either, does it? Oh, look, I, I view this as being the first of many recycling plants as we look at scaling, mm -hmm. uh, scaling geographically, but then also potentially leveraging that uh, availability of product into further value addition in the supply chain. Right, okay. And with, with regards to sort of, um, timing of all of the above, I mean, what, what are the kind of uh, long poles in the tent for you as far as moving this thing forward? So we're working on the feasibility study, yeah. which we're aiming to complete shortly. That is a very uh, important tool for us to engage with UK government stakeholders here around how we support the financing and development and fast tracking mm -hmm. of magnet recycling here in the UK. We anticipate and we're aiming to have, be completing the investment decision by the end of this year. And we want to be up in production in 2026, providing an alternative, secure, traceable supply of separated magnet rare earths 
for customers that are looking for that material right now. Ex China. Yes, spot on. Kiss here. Thanks, Matt.